country look forward to a very productive few days together where we can get to know one another better and explore ways to take the alliance between the Republic of Korea and the United States to an even greater heights than it already exists. And Vice Chairman Lee, thank you for welcoming us to the Samsung Semiconductor Facility. This is an auspicious start to my visit because it's emblematic of the future cooperation and innovation that our nations can and must build together. I'm joined by my Secretary of Commerce, Secretary Raimondo, who's here in the front row, who's working every day to bring us closer to that goal. I've just seen how this plant makes the most advanced semiconductor chips in the world. They're a wonder of innovation, in design, precision, and manufacturing. Semiconductors power our economies and enable our modern lives from our automobiles to our smartphones to medical diagnostic equipment. When it comes to the most advanced chips, like the ones made here in Samsung, is only one of only three companies in the world that makes these chips. It's incredible, an incredible achievement. Because these little chips, only a few nanometers thick, are the key to propelling us into the next era of humanity's technological development. Artificial intelligence, quantum technologies, 5G, and so very much more, things we haven't even thought of at this point. This plant also reflects the close bonds and innovation between our countries. Much of the technology and machinery that is used to make these chips was designed and produced in the United States. And by uniting our skills and our technological know-how, that allows the production of chips that are critical to both our countries and are essential, essential sectors of our global economy. 